What is going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Tills and welcome to the episode numero dos of the solo series. We're going to get this today. As always, if you don't know what's going down, check out the previous episode. However, we live in a cave. The base is looking hot. We haven't been raided, which is just amazing. Time to head out. We need some nodes. We need some farm on just to add to upkeep, all that good stuff. And then we need to obviously survey the local area check out some of the local bases we've got a satchel it'd be very nice to get that learned we need scrap as well so we can get a research table learn metal tools all of that good stuff oh that's a big base down there with a mini copter on top it's gonna be a good one today drop a like if you're looking forward to it let's get straight into it gonna get myself a farm on i don't really know i obviously need to survey the area i haven't been on for around about 20 hours or so onto the uh onto the old server so i don't know base wise local area wise neighbor wise who's around so we'll see we'll see we'll see if in case you didn't catch the last one we live in a pretty low tier area just living near a couple of uh, warehouses supermarkets all that sort of jazz oh what the fuck okay oh oh that can't be that's got to be decay but like this server's less than 24 hours old. I need these two stone nodes, and then we're gonna. I, I'm gonna have to run this scrap home because I do really need that as well. But I do need these stone nodes. The cave is providing sulfur and metal, but no stone. Be nice to find a sword and raid that. Like learn sword BP, farm blades, learn. But I do not have one. It's gonna be tricky. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll see as the day progresses. Absolutely nothing. That's fine. Scare brother. What? I've had this before. And he will get up. He has just DC'd. I'm so sorry. I just heard somebody down there, but I think it was my arrow rolling down the hill. I'm so sorry, bro. Let's go. That was a super lucky find. We're absolutely fucking jacked. I'll run home. I'll come back out and farm these barrels in a few. Just been bowed at. Wasn't recording. I was just sort of coasting. I don't know if he's around. I think it is he ran off after he hit me, which is weird. He didn't push. Let's go. I knew he had some farm on him. That's why he backed off. Let's go. Continuing the great streak of PvP from last episode. I love it. Again, the one issue with living in the cave is how far down you have to drop loot off. I actually, what would be very worthwhile is making myself a little base up top. Farm these nodes on the way down, but that's 100% what I'm going to do today, actually. Make myself a little surface base, just a little drop off. And I can drop my loot up there and run it down when I fancy. Little bow boy. Just grab some wood while it's night time, I suppose. Get the furnaces cooking up, and then we'll head on come morning. Really need to find a sword. Really, really need to get rid of that Halloween music, because that is creepy. Come on, sword. Oh, let's go. Like, I'm sorry. That is the most insane thing that has happened to me in Rust in so long. Pushing my luck. My middle name. Right, so I have made some slight amendments to the base. Obviously, this is like loop room one. Come up here, and then we've got like 
up into the main sort of core of the bit. Oh, come on, man. Up into the main sort of core of the base. It's going to be like doorway, doorway, doorway. You, you, you know how it is. Workbenches at the back there. Obviously, this is the front door here. So this is like the least like important part. So I want them. The main loot's going to be here, I think. So right now, I just need to grab a little bit of reinforcements right now. Oh, that should have been metal. Uh, wasted a bit of stone there. No biggie. Uh, and just basically just sort of securing the base because... Obviously, this is going to be my sort of jumpy up point. There is going to be a wall there and a wall there. I can't build there for some reason, which is really annoying. Uh, and then you just come around here, and then this is the TC, which I'm really loving how this is sort of like laid out right now. I really do enjoy this base. This is swiftly becoming one of my favorite bases. Cave base is OP, man. Just while I'm here, thought I'd whack a research table down and learn the flipping pickaxe as well. Obviously, the hatchet is the next goal, but we're, we're all golden, actually. Oh, I'll leave the freaking scrap in there. Why not? Can you, like, not, please, dude? Loving, loving having this base up top. I tell you what. Couple of really poor shots, Elliot. Oh, fucking cunt. Oh god, there's another one! Fucking guy with the These guys were not inside when I went through there. That's mad! Why did they, these two guys just appear from nowhere? Bravo, but like, wow! I'm gonna get bowed at. Don't have full health. No, he's getting attacked by a wolf. Like, oh look, he lives in that base. Okay, good effort, bruh. Someone in my cave right now. Don't like that at all. He's building in the other cave. Ha! I have to go and stop him right now. He's obviously got a weapon as well. Like a, sh he's got a. It sounds like a pump. Do you speak English? Hey. Hello. Uh, I live in. I live in the cave too, just next door. Uh, just wondering if you were friendly or not, that was all. I mean, it, uh, it depends. Do you have satchels? Are you going to raid me? Nah, I, I, I've only just really started on the server, dude. I've got no blueprints. I just, I just got metal tools. I've got nothing. Oh. I mean, I, I was planning to raid you, actually. Oh, don't tell me that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I didn't know that you are online, so... Oh. No, I, but you are active, so... I mean, if you are friendly, yeah, we can be friends. It's, it's yeah, I, I'm friendly, dude. To be honest, I, I'll I'll buy like uh, bin can and satchel off you if you're if you're if you're offering if whatever you need, I'll go farm and stuff. Hey, oh god, you're like you're well geared. Hi. Hey, here you go. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Oh. Wait, take this. Are you sure? This Ooh. is an extra furnace item. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, I, buddy. Yeah, I got it from a guy. Oh, fair enough. Thank you. Right, now the big thing would obviously be that we want to go and do a little raid, little flippin' sword raid, but I don't want him to kill me. Ah! Oh. Oh, this guy did. Apologies, Ouija. Oh! Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so the area has all of a sudden become pretty goddamn hostile. Not good to know. Right, I know I could just as easily make this probably metal um, and then flip it round, but I'm going to cut this out and then put a garage door here, I think. Obviously, I want all of them to be garage doors, but we're going to have to, like, chop all of them out eventually. So I've got seven pickaxes. i got YouTube. Let's do it. Right, so my cave dwelling neighbour has been. Well, he added me on Steam, so we've had a little chat. He's been on all night. That's a long time. But he's apparently made a few enemies around here who know that he lives in the cave, so that could mean enemies for your boy. Not a fan of that. But what he did say was because he does like cargo, oil rig, all that shit, he really needs low grade. So if I want to trade anything, he'll trade low grade with me. So if I can gather some, I've got like 400 odd fat, which I could convert, which is 
plenty, so I can trade him. I've already got that garage door off him. So things are looking things are looking spicy on that front, but obviously I need to get more. So if I start farming some proper crude on the water as well, I could maybe take it to the harbour, bubble that down. we will be Gucci. But right now, I'm not holding out too much hope because obviously these stone foundations in here look like the main area. However, if I can get somewhere from inside, it's worth it for me. I don't know though. I've left the majority of my swords in my top base. Let's just do it to them. When I can get enough scrap, I'm going to buy a bean can grenade off the guy, off our neighbour. I think that's the next port of call. Okay. Intriguing. Right. I guess we go to town then. And hope that no one jumps in, because if they do, we're fucked. Let's do it to them. Right, really hoping, please don't have another door behind it, because I'm really going to struggle to muster the blades. Oh, ooh. oh, yes, okay, yes, 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 yes. Oh, so unbelievably worth right now. It's in that one. Another garage door, a couple of keys, come on. Yes! Fire arrows! Oh! Oh, let's go, boys! What a raid! What a raid for some fucking swords! Oh, I absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. Right. Lock that up. Nice. And I can set these keys off, which is great. I'm going to get a key lock on here as well. I can leave some of the loot here, run some of it back. Oh, lads. That is so good for being able to trade with our neighbour, man. Okay, we'll leave some of this stuff in here, but we'll run most of it home right now. Oh, I'm, I'm buzzing, boys. Absolutely buzzing. Oh my god, I didn't even see that C4 in there. I didn't even see the C4. Oh god, we could use that next episode. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Let's go. Right, I'm going to run all this home. Right, so while I was just inventorying, inventorying all of that loot there, running some of the peripheral stuff home before I go back for the resources, my neighbour has whacked high walls down around the base. So your boy's got a fucking... Your boy's got a compound. I'm so glad I said... I'm, I'm so unbelievably glad I said to that dude... Um, let's be friends. So I guess the least I could do for the fact that he's keeping me safe, he's providing me with pretty much 24 hour protection. He doesn't know that who I am or anything like that by the way. Not told, not done anything like that. Um, he just wants to keep himself safe and he's on all the time. I've just I've basically struck gold here with luck and I can't go wrong with that. Oh thanks buddy. Legend. Thank you very much. Your diamond. This guy just gave me two fucking bean cans to say thank you for giving him that fuel. Let's -a go. Right, so I am so happy. I think that was one of the best decisions I've ever made was to talk to that guy rather than door camp him and try and fight with him because we have probably the best neighbour I have ever had in Rust. Built me a whole compound, keeping me safe, looking after my base, all that good stuff. So. I'm feeling very comfortable to log off right now. And that is just what I am going to do, guys. I'm going to just whack a few more doors down. I need to, like, honeycomb all of this sort of section here. This is, like, my sort of work place area. A bit of crappy loot. Better loot goes further in field as well. And, obviously, the maze that is this base, I need to just use all the nooks and crannies and all that sort of stuff. I need some more boxes up there. But as always, guys, thank you so freaking much for watching, tuning in, just chilling with me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a fucking amazing day. That raid was one of the best we've done for a long time. So hopefully, hopefully we can keep this going next episode. We've obviously got that C4 we can use now. We've got bean cans and satchels to learn. Things are looking hot. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Tills. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Look out for the next episode. And I'll see you soon. Peace out.